What's up everyone? Welcome to your 6th 3D Studio Max tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to select object in the advanced kind of way. So in the last tutorial, I'm guessing you probably had a problem with selecting objects that were either uh, right behind each other or right on top of each other. And it got kind of confusing sometimes. So I'm going to show you real easy ways that the pros select objects. So you already know that you can select objects this way by clicking select object and clicking on one right here. But another thing that you usually want to do is whenever you're working with pretty advanced um, animations, you have not only this geometry, but you also have shapes, lights, cameras, and all that kind of stuff. So in order to only be able to filter your selections, you can go up here to the filter menu. It's called the selection filter. And you can click only select and let's say cameras. So now that we don't have any cameras in here, if we try to select something, it won't work. All of these weren't created with cameras, but rather geometry. So let's go ahead and click geometry. And now we can only select geometric shapes. So let's go ahead and change that to all so I can tell you guys uh, some more things. Now aside from filtering your selections, you can also select by name. And how you do this is you go to edit, and then you go to select by, and then you go to name. And this brings up all the things that you can select. So for example, click hose, which is the bendy part, and click OK. And now your hose is selected. So if that was like in the middle of a bunch of complex animations, you can just select it by name and it will select it for you. Now aside from selecting my name, you can select by a similar color. So let's go ahead and change this color right here. I'll change it to like blue or something. And whenever you select by color, any object you pick, it's going to select all the objects of the same color. So we got three objects right here, tube number two, uh, the bendy part, and tube number one. So say we want to select all objects of the same color as tube number two so we can select these two tubes and not the hose. So go ahead and put edit, select by color, and now if we click any of these colors, all the similar colors are going to be selected. So if you look in this left view, this tube is selected, this smaller tube, and this long tube is selected, but this bendy straw or the bendy part is not selected because it's a different color. So now that we know how to select my name and select by color, another thing that is really, really useful is how to select multiple objects. So go ahead and press H, and this brings up the select from box, as you can see. And in order to select individual objects, like last time, all you have to do is click on the hose and press OK. But say we want to select multiple objects, or many. So in order to do this, you can go ahead and click on the tube, say tube number one, and then go ahead and click on your control on your keyboard and click another one. And any selection you add to the list is going to be selected. So if you click it again, it deselects it. So that's how you can select multiple objects. Now what shift does when you hold it down on your keyboard, it selects a range of them. So say you want to select everything from tube number one to hose number one. Select tube number one, then hold down shift, and select hose number one. So when you hold down control on your keyboard, it selects them individually. And when you select shift on your keyboard, click one, select shift, it selects the entire range. So that's how you can do that. And aside from this, let me cancel this. This also works in the viewport. So say for example, we want to select this tube we can hold down control on our keyboard and with control held down we can select this tube and now only these two tubes are selected and again if you want to deselect one of them go ahead and hold down control and deselect one of them by clicking so now let me right click or click away to deselect everything and now what I want to go over is how to lock a selection so for example say we have a selection of our two tubes so we have this one, I'm going to hold down control and select this one. Anytime we know we're going to be working with this selection only and we want to lock it, you want to go down here until this lock symbol right here. This is selection lock toggle. So when you click this right here and go up to select object, anything else we try to select. See, I'm clicking select object right here. It's not selecting. So I can only work with these two. So anytime I want to lock this selection and not be able to select anything else, see I can't select this, 
you need to go over to selection and lock toggle so now let's unlock that and now we can select other stuff so aside from that I guess the only other thing that I can think of is other than lock selection is how to edit name selection sets and what this means is it's kind of like lock selections but you can return to them if you want so the best example is just so show you so go ahead and click these tubes again and now we have these two pink tubes selected and not this blue one anytime we want to save this selection for later what we need to do is go up to here and this is edit name selection sets that's what I was talking about and I already have apples in there which was, uh, I was uh, playing around with it but in order to create a new set you need to select two objects and my tubes are already selected and go ahead and press create new set and then go ahead and go to tubes and then if you click away you have a preset selection of tubes so anytime you're editing this yada 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 edit the tube change color a little bit do some other stuff and then you think alright I want to go back to that selection I saved all you have to do is go to this drop down list and click tubes and those tubes are selected again so this is how you can do predefined selections and if you know you're going to be working with some certain objects a lot that's how you do it and if you decide that you want to get a new selection or add another one just go ahead and get rid of that and add another one you can figure out what all these buttons mean just add another one um, subtract selected objects they're pretty simple uh, I'm not going to be going in depth of that or else it would just be boring so I guess the only other thing and I already said that before but I remembered one more thing is to isolate an object that you want to work with and this is really useful if you want to work with just one object and concentrate on it to do this you go up I have a selection in case you didn't see already of these two tubes go up to tools and then go to isolate selection and you can also click alt Q and what this means is everything that isn't selected disappears but it doesn't really disappear like you deleted it it just disappears from view so now you can see we are in our selection mode that only our two straws or two tubes were selected so again click X out of that and we're back to normal so again one last time anytime you want to do that click your selection hold down alt Q and then you isolate that one object so you can model and work with that and anytime you want to get rid of it just click that X right there and it brings you back so that's your quick tutorial on how to select objects and it's going to come in handy when we're working with some pretty um, complex animations and objects and we have them stacked on top of each other and stuff now you're going to know how to select them easier and how to isolate one another so you can model that individual object so thank you guys for watching uh, I hope to see you next tutorial don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time